Figured during the break I'd try restarting the computer, cause it's been getting all wonky. Alright. This isn't where I was, was it? Load the wrong save. Ah. Huh. That looks more like where I was. Well, fuck you. I did not hit that. So much for restarting the computer fixing things. Literally the first thing that happens is a fucking phantom info. <sighs> oh, yeah. I didn't open my chat. I should probably do that. That would be the responsible thing to do, right? There's caffeine. There's caffeine. There we go. Good and good. Wait, no, we not good. It is not actually displaying anything on OBS. Why? Good thing I checked. Uh, closing it out. And there we go. That's bizarre. But I bothered to restart my computer and make sure everything's all fresh. It could still be fucked up. It's been a full century since Midgand reunited the fractured land. In that time, we've enjoyed a blissful era of peace and prosperity. But the world has also seen its faith in moral purity slowly decay, only to be supplanted by deep, profound sin. Things have gotten so bad that nobody has even realized that the four Empyreans now slumber. I'm entirely certain that demons will only become ever more rampant. And yet I'm powerless to stop it. Empyreans? Demons? What are you talking about? I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to hear me grumble. You've already done so much for me. It's fine, really. You've seen so much of the world. Things that I never even knew existed. Yes. I've seen mountains spew flame, and lands covered in ice. I've crossed stormy seas, and ravines deeper than the eye can see. That's so amazing! Weren't you ever frightened? Of course. We are nothing in the face of nature. It takes so little for a person to lose their life out in the wilds. But in spite of the terror, those seas, the mountains, the forests, the deserts, they're absolutely breathtaking. And even in the harshest of climes, people still find a way to live there and carve out something resembling a home. <laughs> I think I understand you now. How do you mean? I can tell you really love this world. Not just that, but all the people who live in it, too. The world and its people. Do you really think so? I'm sure of it. You're wrong. remember that you are one of those people too, you know? You really should try to take care of yourself a little more. I can't do anything right. How could I possibly learn to like myself? I believe in you, Arthur. 
I mean, my family and I are already quite fond of you just the way you are, no matter your faults. Thank you, Celica. That was Velvet's sister and Artorias. No shit. That's how I remember Celica. And him, too. I see. Lord Artorias. Eleanor, I know that the exorcists believe from the bottom of their hearts that their work will save everyone. Perhaps. But that won't stop you from fighting them, will it? No. It won't. Oh, <sighs> isn't ignorance bliss? Should we really keep digging up the past like this? Velvet's never been one to pick the easy road. Uh, what's wrong, kiddo? I was just thinking, the Earth in Historia is supposed to be a vast record of world history. It could show us anything. So why does it only ever focus on events related to Velvet's life? Perhaps it's reacting to her presence. Or maybe, since this place used to be a Nominat's vessel, his power is still influencing what we're seeing. If that were true, shouldn't you be able to control the Earth and Historia, kiddo? You're supposed to be part of Enominat. Think of all the juicy secrets we could dig out of the past! Oh, I'm getting pins and needles! I'm not so sure. Having that much access might be frightening. Some things aren't so fun to learn about. That's an annoying little twerp. Did I say she's an annoying twerp, considering the voice actor is a voice actress? I'm fine. They're gonna catch me. You're strong, but I'm stronger. Apparently here running on the edge doesn't make me safe. Usually what I do to avoid battles, but it's twice now they've gotten me in the back while I'm trying to do that. Coming too. <laughs> Finished here. Let
After this cutscene is gonna make me fight that thing. I already see it happening. I hear that you've finally gotten your assignment. Have they given you a name yet? Malak number two. That isn't your name. Huh? You don't remember anything, do you? But of course you don't. You died before you were even born. I... You're an abortion. But my memories... They came back. And these memories... They torment me. I can never replace them. And I can't undo them. I don't really understand. You don't have to. Just know that I was happier before my memories and free will reawakened. If I had one wish, I'd wish that you stay the way you are. You're going? I'm about to free someone who can kill the strongest Empyrean and the Head Exorcist. I suppose you could call it revenge. Against myself and against my past. Goodbye. Please, find it in your heart to forgive your mother when she failed to protect you. Wait, what? How'd we get here? This is the prison island! Probably by an Earth Pulse Warp. I'll have to send for the Von Eltia to come get us. I guess I must have met Ceres at some point, but... I don't have any memory of it happening. <sighs> but why would that place connect to here? Well, I mean, this is an Earth Pulse point, isn't it? Ceres might have willed it to be somehow. What do you mean? Velvet is right. I think the Earth and Historia showed us that memory because Ceres wanted us to see it. Or Velvet and Laffy said at least. I think I understand. And... I... I think I agree. It may have taken us all the way out here, but at least we have something to show for it. I suppose we can't complain. Oh, yes, yeah. I can. This was worthwhile. I will. All right, let's get to the harbor. I can think and decide for myself now, but it's kind of nice. I feel alive like this. So rest easy, Mom. I'll be okay. What's next? Need. All right, I got those two class four places. I'll do those next. I've got a message from the boss. An antique collector named Wan Jin has died, and his sizable stash is being sold off. What do I care about some old pots and paintings? I doubt you do. This message isn't for you. It's for Eisen. For me? Why? This Wan Jin person was apparently quite the dragon researcher, amassing old books and materials on them. The boss just figured some of those books might come in handy to you. I see. There's a shop out in Port Cadnix that's unloading them as we speak. You might want to get a move on before they're gone. Port Cadnix. I'll keep that in mind. Give Tabitha my regards. I mean, that's a follow up to the other thing about Teresa. It would be really easy to miss side quests and being all over the place and showing up at seemingly random times. Oh, 
about fed up with the game, so I don't see myself, you know, really traveling the world to look for them. Set, right? Yes. Who are you? I'm Videl's mom. He wanted me to give you this note. It's the fourth ingredient! What happened to Videl? He has a high fever and can't move right now. It's the terminal stage of the 12-year sickness. It can't be! All the other kids in town avoid Videl because they're scared of the disease. But you chose to be his friend. I want to thank you for that. Videl always perks up when he talks about you. Miss Videl's mom? I know this is sudden, but can I borrow his book? If we can figure out the last ingredient, we can make medicine that'll cure him. I don't care what it takes. I'll decipher it myself and... That sounds like it could be really dangerous. I can't let Videl's friends put themselves at risk like that. Besides, I've already lent the book to someone else. <sighs> I've been prepared for this day ever since I learned he had the 12 years sickness. I'm sorry, Videl. I'm sorry I couldn't give you a healthy life. <laughs> What's the plan, Lafayette? Do you still intend to look for that last ingredient? Why bother? Time's short and we're out of leads. <sighs> I know it's sad, we're out of leads. but there's nothing we can do. Videl was fated for this end from the start. Is there really nothing we can do? Don't feel guilty. None of this is your fault. You've been a good friend to him. Besides, the Omega Elixir is a fool's errand anyway. How could you say that? Jeez, Velvet! Even I'd have tried to soften that one. What's there to be gained from being less direct? Sure, it might hurt now. But in time, it will be just another memory. A sad memory you'll keep tucked away for when you need it. How can you talk like that? Fidel's still alive! And what about all of his research? The Omega Elixir is real! I'm sure of it! I'm... I'm not ready to give up! Then stop talking about it and keep on looking. You... you mean it? Once you've lost him, it'll be too late. No matter how sorry you feel, no matter how deeply you regret, regrets don't change into memories. They hang over you like a living nightmare. But you haven't lost your friend yet, or your hope. Yeah. Then hold on to it as tightly as you can. Okay. I'm going to find that fourth ingredient. Let's take another look at the clues in Videl's notes. Did not say to do that. That's another phantom input. Go kill shit.
You're strong, but I'm stronger. Something in there hit me for 5,000. Didn't even see anything touch me. Wow. 
What dicks? Will you let me move? Will you let me theranize? No, because you're gonna keep stunning me every time I get close to it. Get that off. Disgraceful. 
Really? A blood blade? It is undead, and I haven't done yet. Some dead shit. I'll show you the beauty of my camera. Let's 
That should be an easy one. Sometimes I do those mystic guards just to give my hand a rest. I know it wasn't, you know, useful. But it was useful because I needed a rest. My hand is goddamn killing me. It's back to the point where it's starting to spread up the arm. Really probably take another couple days off, but I'm in the final stretch. Just, you know, side quest and then the main boss. Didn't realize how many fucking side quests there would be. Didn't think this would be an all-day affair. I thought I would have this wrapped up, you know, middle of the day and move on to another game by now. Here I am. All the way over there instead of the one right next to you.
You're just lucky I made it quick. Yeah, there are things worse than death. They're already dead. Good luck. Show. Really, Lapa said's kind of undead too. Undead abortion. Good question. Where are we on that? Okay, next. So the remaining marks are just the side quest objectives, so I don't really have to check where they are, because I'll be going to them eventually anyways. I, actually, I should have checked what they do, and look at it. Maybe there's one I want to go get immediately. There's a big deal. <clears throat> I'm allergic to crafting. Thank <laughs> you. 
In a while.
Oh, my money. Whoops. are starting to burn. Might be bedtime. Oh, 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 oh. If it were Eisen, shit. I haven't seen you in forever, laddie. I heard an antique stealer was handling Wan Jin's collection. I take it that's you? His father and I go way back, so his family begged me to handle it. You know this guy? He is excitable, but he's got a good eye for treasure. He's the one who sold me Fujibayashi's rod. Oh, the one we used to fish up that demon pot, right? From the looks of it, You've already sold everything. I had tons for sale. A huge, massive collection, but the customers came rushing in and bought about everything that weren't nailed down. <sighs> and here we are, a week late and a sack of gold short. Come now, Conjurus. Never underestimate the great Donella. I thought this might happen, so I set something special aside. And it's a real hoot, too. A book written in ancient Avarost. Why do you have that book? For years, the Abbey's been scooping up every scrap of paper with Avaros writings. It seems they've a bone to pick with it. 
But mischievous lads like yourself have always liked getting your hands on such forbidden fruits, yeah? How much is it? It's yours. Free. Gratis. I've heard the rumors. If this book helps you smash the Abbey to rubble, that's enough for me. Well, if you're sure, I'll take it. Of course! Another ancient book. We're gonna need Grimoire's help to read it. I had a hunch this might happen, so I actually brought Grim along with me. <sighs> Let's get this over with. Yes, teacher. If you read this part as Smira, then it means should do. But if it's a snick, then it means don't do. The other word attached to it is pronounced cre. Which of those first two readings feels right to you? Sound it out. Hmm. Cre, snira, cre, snick. Kresnik. Kresnik feels right somehow. All right. And Kresnik translates as? To retrieve something intact. To dig it out. But if that's what it means, then... Yes, this is quite the extraordinary book you found. Hey, you two mind explaining what's so special in a way the rest of us can understand? It's research about dragons and Malachim. Written long ago by someone trying to figure out how to change a dragon back into a Moloch. They can be changed back? Does the book tell us how it can be done? The book only contains records of failures and the conclusion it was impossible. But something interesting is written in the corner here. Unless the intact heart of a white-horned dragon is consumed, a Moloch's blessing shall be everlasting. Hmm. By devouring the heart of a white-horned dragon, a Moloch's blessing will be lost. Are you saying that this is a way to break the Reaper's curse? If what this book says is true, yes. Meaning one Moloch would have to eat another Moloch's heart? That's a little gruesome even by my standards. A little Wait, goose. was that something that actually happened during the ancient Avarost period? The book states that during the course of the research, some Malachim were discovered to have lost their blessings. But it's not conclusive. Guess there's no way to know unless we give it a shot. I were listening try. to Japan Sneak. Japanese, what I would be a little confused by what nice I'm reading. Old lady at the market told me what you guys were up to. I guess you know the blood wings too, then. Oh, you know, the ladies just can't keep away from a good man like me. Young and old, they just love me. Huh. Not a chance. You guys don't know how to take a joke, do you? Well, some things aren't a joking matter. You gonna try and kill her? And what if I do? You won't. I'll stop you. Even if it means you have to kill me? What is it with you and killing everything? Maybe you've been a little too receptive to the whole Reaper thing, huh? Don't answer a question with another question. I asked you first, Aizen. Sometimes, death can be the release someone desperately needs. <laughs> I will kill that white horn dragon. Uh, Don't call her a dragon, damn it! <sighs> she has a name. Theodora. I have nothing the more Explorer. to say to you. This is your final warning. Now and then you gotta kill a dragon. Who would ever guess that devouring a dragon heart could lift the Reaper's curse? Oh, what a glorious day it'll be when you drop the curse part and just become a Reaper at heart. It's like a bad fly. The more you try to shoo it away, the more it sticks around. Do you think Eisen will Is this written in autocorrect? Don't ask me. Well, I can't exactly talk to Mogilu and Rokuro about it. Tact is lost on them. You're all I've got. <sighs> Hey, Aizen? What? Are you... Are you really gonna kill the dragon to get rid of the curse? Yeah, I am. Even knowing what she means to Zavid? All the more reason to do it. All the more? What do you mean? I've said my piece. You can figure it out on your own. Uh. I don't get it because... There's clearly a written script, because the people are reading the script. 
how do they not just take that script and put it into the dialogue? Why are they doing this weird shit? Good luck. Sure. I don't know, but I think I'm done for the night. My hands are tired, my brain is tired. I'm pretty spent. I guess I'll finish it tomorrow? Assuming I can burn through all these fucking side quests? That's a big assumption. <laughs>